Hey there. Uh, I haven't done any gear reviews in a while, and I I like a good backpack. I don't know about you, but I really like a good backpack. And I was looking online for a review of this product out of curiosity, and I've been using it for a while, and I found that there was there was no reviews of this backpack, which surprises me. So I thought. Once again, up to SBRE Brow to supply YouTube's deficiencies and do this review. So it's not going to be some sort of unload. I'm not going to show you what I carry in the backpack. I'm just going to talk about the product because I think these are very nice products that I think deserve some more attention than they're getting. Now, very brief rundown. When it comes to me and backpacks, my, my absolute number one go-to brand is Maxpedition. I've reviewed this backpack years ago. I've had this, this must be a decade at this point. Um, or at the very least, very close to a decade. Maxpedition, buy once, cry once. That's kind of how it works. So it's expensive stuff. Nothing on this is broken. Everything functions the way it did the, the, the day I got it. Uh, very spacious, but, here's the but. This is very tactical looking. I don't know if he came up with this expression, but I heard Dave Canterbury from the Pathfinder School say it first on YouTube. Tactical isn't always practical. I love it, I've traveled with this, it's fantastic, it's spacious, but it has all kinds of things going on, okay, or it's like, you're like a bloody squid, okay, so to, to me, I love it, don't get me wrong, but it's expensive, and the other issue is because of the nylon they use, the super high denier, it's heavy, it's just heavy, this thing alone weighs almost one and a quarter kilograms empty, nothing in it yet. Falcon 2, lovely backpack. Then Maxpedition came up, that, that they now call that Legacy series, which has all the loops, right? Like you've got all these, this, the PALS webbing to, to, to put additional pouches on, and that's all fantastic, it's very modular. They now call it Legacy. Then they came up with this, and uh, this was their AGR series, Advanced Gear Research. I love this too. I've reviewed this backpack. Great, this is a much smaller day pack. It's already a little less tactical looking, but it still has, let's be fair, a somewhat militaristic looking looking thing, uh, like view, uh, image, I should say. And it's, it's still, it has its own, it's not really PALS webbing, it's their own, I think they call it Atlas uh, uh, webbing. You can still add pouches onto it, like this bottle holder. Great, but it's still Maxpedition, still quite expensive, and this too is heavy, empty. Then the final thing I'll show you, and then we'll get to the real product, okay? The final thing I'll show you is this. This is their Entity series, Maxpedition Entity, and this I love. This is a very, they, they, the only way to put it, the gray man, right? They, they, they shouldn't stand out, very simple, but it has many of the Maxpedition features, the little mesh pockets and all the stuff that, that people love about Maxpedition. Still very, very rugged. So I really like this too. But what I want to talk to you about today are products from Eddie Bauer. Now, I love Eddie Bauer. I have a thing for Eddie Bauer. And I have a backpack from Eddie Bauer that I've had for a while, but they recently added a smaller version of that, so I have that here to show you as well. And there is a sling pack. I'll, I'll get to that. They're all in the cargo series. There's the cargo pack, the cargo day pack, and then there is the cargo sling. And those I want to show you side by side, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to tilt the camera, let's have a look at these actual products. These are a lot more affordable than the Maxpedition products. The denier in the nylon is also lower, okay? So it's a lower price. I'm, I cannot guarantee that these Eddie Bauer products are going to last 60 years, whereas the Maxpedition products would basically survive a nuclear holocaust. So that's kind of, you know, that's kind of the difference. But and yet, I've had these Eddie Bauer products for quite a while, and they are still going quite strong. So, let's have a look at them. Okay, so let's go over these. I know this is a somewhat strange orientation, but otherwise it doesn't really fit very nicely in the camera, so please bear with me. This is the Eddie Bauer Cargo Pack. That's the biggest of the three products. The second thing, I'll go over them one by one, but I just want to show you. This is their Cargo Day Pack. And then finally, they have their cargo sling bag, which is just that, a sling bag. I'm going to come back to all of them. Let's start with this one. So the cargo pack, by far the largest. This is 600 denier uh, ripstop polyester. 
that Black Mac Expedition Falcon 2 uh, backpack I showed you before is a thousand fifty denier. So much higher, like, sort of like it's not really a thread count, but something like that, okay, for, for uh, nylon. Very large capacity, 29 liters, that's 1770 cubic inches, and it's 19 inches high by 12 inches wide by 7 inches deep. Price for this is 120 Canadian. Bear in mind, I have not known Eddie Bauer to not have at least a 20% sale on, usually 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60%. So if you wait for the right moment, you can pick this up for something like 50 bucks or so. So in that case, I think this becomes a really, really good deal given what you get. So there's two defining features in my mind to this cargo series that, that Eddie Bauer has done. One is the webbing. Now this is not PALS webbing. That's a, if, if you may not be familiar, PALS, you know, the, the webbing system. That's what Maxpedition uses. So in other words, PALS has a specific distance between these specific bands, okay? This is not PALS, this is just webbing. <laughs> That's it. Now you can take, this happens to be a Maxpedition pouch, you can of course weave that through because that's how you use it, weave these bands through there or use some Alice clips or something and put it back through there and you can put that on there. I'm not going to do that now because it takes a lot of time, but as you can see it will fit, right? It will fit. So you can put additional pouches on, it's a modular system which is kind of neat. That to me is one defining feature. The other defining feature of the cargo series and that's something that kind of appealed to me is these two pockets. It's, it's pure aesthetics, but I really like the way this looks. I like that design. What I'd like to do next is just go over uh, this bag, the features of this bag, and then I'll do the other two, okay? So, <clears throat> you have a lot of compartments they made, and I think that is really quite neat. So, I'm just going to turn it just so you can see that. You have these two mesh pockets on the side for water bottles, etc. I have fit in a one liter Nalgene bottle, very standard. That's a 32 ounce bottle, right? Uh, fits, it's tight, but it fits. You don't have to overstretch this, this um, uh, elastic band. And you have two, one on either side, so that's kind of nice. Then you have this big compartment, which is, let's start here, hook and loop, large compartment, right? And that's pretty much it, it's a large compartment with some the hook and loop closure and I like the little lip you can use to open that up. Then you have this admin pouch which is nicely set up. You have three slots for cards and then a deeper slot. You have a mesh pocket, this is not elastic. But then you have two pen slots. For the record, the Mickey Emperor won't fit, just so you know. Zippered pocket which is quite spacious, my tie hand fits in. And you may look at this and think there's another pocket behind this, but it's not. That's not a compartment, that's not a pocket or anything. Zipped, uh, we call that, sewn shut. You do have a lanyard, which is kind of neat. I always like to put my keys on something when I, when I walk, I don't have them all in my pockets. And they're nice and safe. Then you have the two pockets, which again have this mesh, which Eddie Bauer actually uh, refers to as daisy chains. So, nice daisy chain and works well. You can, of course, clip further things onto this. It doesn't have to be pouches or something. You could use carabiners, etc., to, to clip items onto that, water bottles, etc. What I like about these two pouches is that it's basically two compartments. It's a hook and loop compartment. Um, on this pack, they're a little smaller than my hands. I'll come back to that. But then there's also a main compartment, which is zippered. On the left, you have a mesh pocket with, uh, again, an elastic uh, band. So you have two slots. And then on the other side, the right pocket is just one compartment. And I do like that. It's either a very dark orange or a very dark red. It's a little hard to, to make out what color that is. I'm, I'm going to go with a very, very dark orange. So, two different designs for these two pockets, which I kind of like. Then on the inside, 
So here we have, in my mind, some fairly nice design features. First of all, you have this rain cover-ish protector, right? That that you you just pull over the zippers, so there's no, no rain will come in, which I which I enjoy. Zippers are YKK, so a good zipper brand. They have one main compartment, and then behind that is the second, even larger main compartment. Again, I like that that lining in a contrasting color uh, quite a lot. This compartment uh, has a pocket which you can either use for a, a somewhat larger laptop. Uh, I think they say on their on the website that 15.4 inches or something fits, but it's it's really quite large. Or you can use this for a hydration system. So you can put in a hydration system, Camelback, etc. There is a little loop to hook that through, and then you have an opening for the drinking tube, which is nice. It's nice to have that, especially in a larger pack like this. You might want to take on a hike, etc. Um, handle works well. Sewn in half. This is not nearly as massive as you would find on a Maxpedition product, where they really, it's huge. Uh, it's not quite that intense, but it does work well, and I can fit my whole hand in, so it's, it's comfortable to me. Final thing that I really like is that on one side, you have this, which I think actually even aesthetically looks quite nice. That allows access into the laptop compartment, and it's protected with another hook and loop closure, so when you open this up, your laptop won't fall out. Nicely done, of course, you can also, again, use that for a hydration system. The padding on the back is quite nice. Uh, I have been very comfortable carrying this, wearing it. The padding of the straps is very good. You have a sternum strap, which you can adjust. It has popper buttons. So you can easily adjust that. You can put it lower if, that, if it works better for you. And what I really like is it's one of those uh, Fastex buckles with, an, with a built-in whistle. I think the whistle is always a nice touch. Uh, you never know if some sort of emergency situation hits. It's, it's not bad to have a whistle in, in an emergency situation. And then you have a, uh, you have hip, a hip strap. Um, I'm not going to lie. This hip strap is not the most amazing, huge hip strap. Um, again, compare with Maxpedition, where you have this huge strap, massive buckle, and then you have this on the Eddie Bauer. Right. But I will be honest, it works. So that's not bad. And then it comes with these rubberized. Um, so sort of elastic bands to, to get rid of the excess floppy bits, which is not bad either, so they're out of the way, because I hate walking around and then you have the, this little straps flapping everywhere, I hate that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Final thing I will say is, it stands, there's nothing in it of course, but if there is something in it, it stands up straight on its own pretty well. Not perfectly, but it stands up straight pretty well. What they didn't put in is something they did put in on the day pack, which I found an interesting choice. So, here we have the cargo pack, it's large, massive capacity, 27 liters, sorry, 29 liters. You can carry a lot of stuff in this. And I have, I have been walking around with it, I went on a hike with it, I put a hydration system in it to make sure that this, that, that would work. It works fine, you can loop the, um, the straw on this side, you don't have the choice of which side because there's only a... Um, a loop for this on one side, but you know, it works. I like it. They come in moss green and black. There used to be a camouflage version as well, but I haven't seen it anywhere in a very long time, including the website, so I don't think they make that anymore. That's the regular cargo pack. Then we have the cargo day pack, which is 18 liters. So 29 versus 18 liters. 11 liters less than a cargo pack, it's much smaller. What do we have on this? Well, on this pack, you don't get the large pocket with webbing. Like, there's no actual straps. There's only these two pockets. What I like about these two pockets is that the zippers close on the same side. If you look at the big cargo pack I've had, I'm sorry, I hit the tripod. These two zippers 
on the same side when both of these pouches are closed, uh, or the pockets are closed. And that's a bit of an issue because then you want to open this and you, you, you pull on this end, but then it turns out that it opens up this compartment. So that could be a little better in my mind. So I like that for the day pack they, they set up those zippers the same way. So you know that that's closed and that ends open, done. You do get the webbing on the two pockets. You do have, again, the um, pockets here. And um, hook and loop closure, and then there is the main compartment, which is bigger than on the day pack. My entire hand fits in this one. Same thing, though. On the left, you have the mesh with a bit of an elastic piece and here you have just a compartment but you do have the lanyard uh, for your keys which is quite nice. You also don't have the lining in a different color. For this one it's it's all black. You do have the two pockets which again I think are a defining feature for that, that cargo series and I, I kind of like the looks of it. Then you have a compartment here. Um, I'm just reaching in here. It's not huge so you got to think of something like a phone or something that you, uh, you you could put in there, and not a whole lot beyond that. Sorry, I'm reaching around a tripod. Forgive me. I hit it again. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep doing that. Main compartment, very simple, sort of bucket style, right? There is not much going on in here. If this was Maxpedition, there would for sure be some sort of mesh pocket here or whatever. This is just it. There is a um, a compartment for a laptop. I wouldn't say hydration because A, there is nothing to connect the hydration to, no loop, and secondly, there's no way to put the tube out. So that really, in my mind, is just electronics. No side, I keep it, I'm gonna keep hitting that tripod. I'm doing it on purpose now. Uh, no side opening to get to your laptop, unlike with the larger day pack. Uh, Straps, again, very nicely padded. There is a loop here. So theoretically, if you really wanted to, you could somehow put a smaller hydration bladder in that back compartment. I'm not sure how you would, what you would connect it to, and it would collapse in on itself. You could leave the zipper open a little bit. Again, YKK zippers. And you could just get the tube out and just loop it through that um, strap. None of this is ideal because that also means that rainwater may get in, etc. I really don't think it's designed that way, but then they did put the thing on. So you do have, again, here, more options just like on the regular cargo pack uh, to connect more items to. You do have, again, the elastic piece to keep together whatever you don't use of the strap, which is kind of nice. And the final thing that I thought was a really nice touch, and that I think they should also do for the cargo pack, is they have these compression straps here, which serve, in my mind, a dual function. If the bag isn't very full, you can just cinch this shut, and it will become flatter, because you're just putting the bottom together. But in my mind, very nice. If you go on a hike, you could put a coat or something through this. If you really want to take this camping, I suppose, a little sleeping mat, something like that, but there isn't that much space in this backpack. This really is a day pack, uh, in my mind. So, there we have that. So now we've done the cargo pack and the cargo day pack. This, I think, is a great backpack for, indeed, day, day trips city trips, etc. They don't require you to carry a whole lot, you just want to have some stuff with you. The final thing, the final thing that we have to cover is this very interesting uh, uh, little pack. Look, we can have long and short discussions about this, but it's a fanny pack, okay? They advertise it as a sling pack or a fanny pack, so you could put one of these straps around, I've just, I have it tightened a little bit, you could put one around your shoulder and then this hangs in front of your chest and it's a little military looking and it's not, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just the way it is. Um, but basically, as I said, a fanny pack. Now, uh, 
To make matters a little bit more palatable to me, I don't wear it as a sling bag. I don't like sling bags with stuff hanging in front of me. Um, you could theoretically do it the other way around, although you wouldn't have much control over people accessing this. I studied in Amsterdam, you exit the train and then it's very common for people to, to fiddle with your backpack while you get out. My preferred way of wearing this is kind of like a, like a butt pack, right, which is a thing they do in the military where you put the buckle in front and this rests on your behind and that works very well. Um, it's also quite comfortable that way because this is well padded so I do like that. You also have this really big Fastex buckle which works very well. I found that to be very uh, um, uh, solid and reliable. Again, you can put whatever you don't use off the strap out of the way with, with this thing. Beyond that, this is again very much a similar design. You again can get, this is the moss green finish. There's also a, quite a nice brown hazelnut finish, which is quite nice. Um, you have the main compartment here with a little divider, the mesh divider. You do have the hook and loop closure here. This is again the slightly bigger version of these main pockets, which I liked. It's interesting that the biggest backpack has the smallest versions of these pockets. Again, zippers on both sides. Here you have the main bucket style compartment. And again, the, oh, the secondary compartment. The, the, the zippers are quite good, but again, I'm reaching around a tripod, so it's a little awkward. Um, hook and loop compartment, fine. And then you have one big compartment. I put in a Samsung Galaxy Tab and it fit easily. That's not something I would use when I would go on a hike. But just to give you an idea of the size, this is quite a substantial main pocket. It uh, has a little divider here, has a, um, a zippered compartment there, which is quite nice. So you really have an opportunity to put valuables away so they don't fall out or something. I know I, I always keep one of these in. It's just a silica gel. Uh, and again, you have a little lanyard for your keys or something. If you go on a walk, on a hike, which I sometimes do, and I'm only out for 45 minutes or an hour, I don't, I don't want to carry a cargo pack that holds 29 liters of items when I'm 45 minutes out, right? So if you take a smaller bottle of water, even a Nalgene, a liter bottle, you can get away with putting that in here. It's going to be a little awkward to carry because that's very bulky, but you can. And I found that to be really, really nice. So this is remarkably spacious. And of course, a nice combination if you really, really need to go on a very long hike. You can take the cargo pack, you can use this as a butt pack, and now you have a lot more space added to it. And then you are really talking and you're in business in my mind because then you have a lot of opportunities to carry stuff. What I would have enjoyed, is if this buckle would be the same size as the waist buckle because then theoretically in an expedition you can do that with some of the expedition bags you could put this in front here shorten these straps and then connect this so you have this in front of you and that behind you but as i said you can't because the, the buckles are different sizes there you have it cargo pack reliable i've used this for a long time I've been very, very satisfied with this. The new cargo day pack, which I could already no longer find on the website, so I don't know if they sold them out because they were new. And then the cargo sling pack. I like them all. I've been very happy with these products. I have found them to be well-made, well-designed, very, very versatile. So I hope this was useful. And I, I hope that I've given you the information that you would want about this. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. That's it. See you later. Bye-bye.